Hello. I'm doing sort of a re-review. Treehouse is green. My only video with this is a versus of this and Trillium's vicinity. Um, but I thought I should just do one that focuses on the green, especially because I just got cans of Giga Green, which I'll review very soon. Might be nice to kind of compare them a little bit. So 7.5% featuring Galaxy Hops prominently, but it's not a single hop Galaxy beer like their uh, Punch, which I did yesterday, and I really like that one. That was very, very nice. So it also will be, will be nice to review this while having that in my brain, because I was thinking about doing a versus of these two. So this is 9-27-19 can date, so it's been in the can for 19 days. I really like this, just like everyone likes this beer. The Galaxy makes it nice and hazy, it seems. I mean, all the beers are really nice and hazy, but Galaxy in a lot of beers makes it more hazy, and it also kind of cuts through their intense yeast profile a little bit too. I poured it hard and got a gigantic head, which I like, with some big soapy bubbles. It looks like it's gonna last for a very long time. They definitely know what they're doing in producing this beer. At Trillium, I've never had a bad batch of green. Hmm, <sighs> yeah, the yeast seemed a little stronger in this than it did in Punch. <sighs> Bringing out some kind of creamy stone fruit notes. And not, not much green at first. As I sip this, I know it's going to get more herbal. But the aroma, I don't know, it's not popping out hugely. But I really like it. Citrusy, kind of a, kind of a creamsicle thing a little bit. Kind of pina colada, definitely pineapple. Maybe pina colada is better to describe it. Mm. Nice mouthfeel, and uh, you get that resinous punch of the galaxy that makes it turn not as sweet as it, as it smells. Mm -hmm. The feel is mm, not as full and creamy as I was kind of expecting it. Of course, it's, it's pretty soft, but it's got this nice texture and spiciness. Very oily from all the hop oils and, and galaxy hops. Drawing out my tongue definitely. Probably well, maybe this and sap are like the most bitter like standard treehouse IPAs. Mm. Very easy to drink. As you get bigger gulps of it, there is a sugary quality to it. Like a, a sugared Melon, maybe a papaya, some some tang, weird tangy tropical fruits. Not quite passion fruit, but it's not quite also getting towards that menthol type character that I get in some beers, especially with lots of galaxy hops where it just smells like kind of minty or like cough drop like, which I'm not a fan of. And now I'm getting hints of eucalyptus and the, the greenness is starting to take over my palate and my head a little bit, but you still get plenty of fruit. It's not covering it up or anything. Sometimes these beers can get all spice and the flavor and all, all grapefruit. This is now getting more grapefruit bitterness. And now it seems like it's grapefruit, a grapefruit and pineapple blend of juices with some orange, but quite bitter. And the head died down a little more quickly than I thought, but left some nice lacing. It's not really knocking it out of my park. I feel like maybe I liked um, the, the punch more yesterday. I don't think it's necessarily a bad batch. This is actually fresher than, than punch. Um, it still is very, very nice, but I don't even know if I'd necessarily give it a four and a half right now. It might be that the mouthfeel isn't quite as voluptuous as I thought. It seems like this batch is a little drier than usual. And quite bitter. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just kind of misremembering everything. 
but it's it, it's really good. Uh, I'm really interested to see how Guga Green will be because this is pretty hoppy. I mean, it's an intense beer. It's got lots of good stuff going on, but I'm hoping that the Guga Green will be more bitter um, and more dry and, and because I'm not getting a lot of lush, soft, tropical fruits um, on the palate at this point. More like unripe pineapple and maybe unripe peach and all that stuff. But of course, it's a very good beer. Goodbye.